أعوذ بكلمات الله تأمات من شر ما هلك أعوذ بكلمات الله تأما من كل شيطان وأما ومن كل أين اللاما بسم الله الذي لا يضر ما اسمه شؤون في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا إننا نعرف من ربنا يوما أبوسا كم تريرا يوم لا تملك نفس لنفسه شيها والأمر يوم إذ لله فدن دم عليهم ربهم بزنبهم فسواها ولا يهاف بكباها ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد جماعة كان كأوكا وانا بروغرام كيكو كريكا شامنا وانا بروغرام وانا very important بروغرام ديزو أبين ده فارورك كسان غانا something has happened today which our Muslim student in Ghana at the um, this schools uh, what is the school name uh, one school is um, Anissa Senior High School and Mercy Islamic High School in Ghana today Anissa Senior High School and the Mercy Islamic Senior High School they were going to write an exams a student they are Muslims they were going to write an exams today at the Action Senior High School, that is the examination center. Action Senior High School. There is a stupid supervisor from Waik who has banned the Muslim girls to remove their hijab before they can go inside to write the exams. This is a stupid thing which is happening in Ghana. That is why always I tell people there is more racism between the blacks and blacks than the whites and the blacks. Somebody who has an hijab, what is wrong with somebody's religion? You are Christian, Jewish, this and that, and I'm a Muslim. What is the difference? Why? Why cannot, why can people, our women in Ghana, they cannot express their hijab? Why? Why? I don't understand. I just... I don't, I don't know what to tell you. We have been fighting for this for so many years. So many years. Please, when you come to the program, make sure you share this program. If you don't want to share this program to get to the government of Ghana, just cut off on this page. We don't need you. We need to all fight for our sisters in Ghana. They are going to the hospital. Problem. They are going to the clinic. Problem. They are going to the market. Problem. They are going to the bank. Problem. Everywhere, everywhere, some people in Ghana, they think they are superior than other people. I don't understand. We fought for this many years and we left. No problem. So this supervisor, he did not see the minister of Zango talking about this. Please, share this program. Uh, please, uh, before, before I will go, because I did this program many times. I'm going to play all the video today. Before, we are going to invite the Muslim students who went at the location. What happened? You hear all what happened. This is a stupid in Ghana. Why? Somebody is going to have a voter's ID card. Problem. He is going to, uh, what do you call it, to get a passport. Problem. Anything. Problem. Problem. Because he's a Muslim. Why? Why? And people in Ghana, people are just kept quiet. They can't talk. You scared to talk? I don't understand. I just don't understand. Ghana is a village. Ghana is even more than a village. Shatawale, Diawaka and Menukre, Sesana Mamusa and Ukre. Ghana. Uba Uzer, Oba, Muslim Niba, Akwa Tina Waik, Wako Chani Ezabs, then you can suck her for wearing a hijab. Oba, Wako Snit, Ekwa Eni, what do you call it? National services, because of hijab, you can suck her. Inna Lillah, Wa Inna Ilaga Raju Un. Ghana is not a Christian country. Ghana is a much religious country. Not only the Christians are living in Ghana. Let me tell you. Oba, she was sitting at the examination wall and the supervisor who tell her to take her hijab off. This video is a year today, a year ago. One year ago, I was fighting with them with a waik and it has happened again. 
Why every year? Why? 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 What does the hijab gotta do with the sitting, writing, and isaacs? Ask the Waik. No. She has a Muslim name. She has a Muslim identity. She has a hijab. By the constitution of Ghana, you don't have no right to tell someone to take the hijab or this is the type of religion you want to stop the person to follow. You don't have that right. Let's go back to the article, Ghana Constitution 1992 article. When you go to the 1992 article, uh, Article 21, 1 C of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana, which allow make sure you share this every program. citizen to observe and manifest their religion in the country. So how could you tell someone what you want the person to do? Are you God? Even the Quran say. La ikraha there is no force in the religion. Even we the Muslims, we don't force Christians or Buddhism or anyone to follow our own our religion. Go and see how the Catholic cover their head. They have their own right to do whatever they want to do. The Jewish do does the same thing. The Christian does the same thing. Even the Virgin Mary, go and look at the picture of the Virgin Mary. She did not take her hijab off or veil off. So the Muslims have the this old videos, I want to play all my old videos about hijab before I invite the people who were at the center today. What happened? So make sure you share this program. I want to play all the old video so people who know that this is not the first time this is happening. This is a year ago video where our sister in Tema was sacked from the examination center for wearing an hijab and it has repeated itself today all right to worship or to do their religion in ghana without any fear at the way there is no rules and regulation that says a muslim or anyone who will cover or not allow anyone to cover their own hair or this and that or put on a hijab to the examination room no our nurses are crying our school children are crying because of this hijab. Last year, I came to Ghana and I made another video the same thing. Even the minister of Zongo Musafa Amin, he made a video about it. And then this year, in January or February, I believed there was the same chaos in commercial Ashanti where I myself called the headmaster and he got scared. And we sent the honorable, uh, the MC, honorable Ali, he went to the school and they fixed that. Every blessing day, there is a different things for the Muslims in Ghana. We don't want no war. We don't want no Boko Haram in Ghana. We don't need no fights, no nothing, no war in Ghana. Ghana is a peaceful. We want to live peace. Nobody wants no chaos in Ghana. So the headmaster, the who and who and who and who, they need to be very careful. The government of Ghana need to sit up on, on this type of issue. Otherwise, there is something going to happen which we're not going to like it. And I'm not even recently, back about four to five years ago, there was the same court case between the, the Waik and then the what? The, uh, the Ghana Muslims, uh, the something, something, this and that. Which is not right for the Waik to do that. I believe that was when uh, the president of Ghana, the former president, John Dramani Mahama, when he came up, he talk about this the same issue. The minister of Zambu talk the same issue. Why do you feel if that was your child who has been sacked from the school or from the examination room for wearing an hijab? How will you feel? Even the little girl, how if let's say the little girl says, Okay, I'm not writing the exams, I'm not I'm going home. You affected a life. There are some people in Ghana who are in the high rank, they have a so hatred saw disease and HIV in their heart for the Muslims. We are all here when this minister came out saying about all this azan, not to call azan. Just last week, the Ghana Education Services banned or removed the curriculum for the basic education, for the basic Arabic curriculum in Ghana. And no one is talking. How will you embarrass this little girl? Make sure you, make sure you share this program before How we bring them live. I'm going to interview them, interview them. But uh, what happened is, uh, I want the people to know 
the history has repeated itself because we did this fight with this waik and a lot of and snits all these people we fight with them all the time they never listen then our lawyers our judiciaries in ghana the muslims lawyers woo and woo and woo they need to get up this guy who did this today they need to he need to be arrested because this is a violation of the constitution of ghana before i bring them in make sure you share this program i want to play all the videos what happened since last two years i was fighting with them i went to ghana i faced them face to face but still these people don't care and the so muslims are kept quiet discrimination can cause a lot of violence in ghana and we don't want to do that we don't want to see that each muslims in ghana must wake up and raise awareness with this we need to wake up we need to wake up that's what we're supposed to do people need to understand the in the human intersectional of the human the, the human nature the intersection of a human beings we need to look it up and understand each or respect each and everyone's religion the government of ghana must have a workshop for the teachers for the supervisors for the hr and then implement or read the constitution of ghana to them and give them a real workshop on the constitution because there's a lot of people i don't think they understand the constitution of ghana the constitution of ghana describe what discrimination is you cannot discriminate anyone on the virtues of his religion education or uh, what you call it a color anything is culture nothing you cannot do that in ghana go to the constitution of ghana from the top to the bottom it explained clearly in there people have the right to manifest or to practice their own religion and manifest their own responsibility towards their religion i'm telling you the facts our constitutional right is respect our religion believe our religion do our religion without any fear it is not something that we need to beg or accept for our kids to wear their hijab no it is our constitutional right to do it in ghana because ghana is not a religion it's not a one religion country never so we urge our our leaders our vice president the minister of Songo, that is the main reason why you are putting you have been put there for you to what to help the Songo community so you need to wake up the vice president were there to support ghana as a whole and support his own muslim brothers too on this type of matter because we don't want any violence in ghana we need to live peace that is all oh it is not a rules and regulation at in ghana institution for people not to wear a job at the government center like a wake hospitals clinic and all these places our women have the right to practice their religion without no fear don't put fear with people make you sure you share. force anyone to be a christian make sure you say something you cannot force anyone to be a muslim common sense sometimes a fool is better than those type of people who sit at the office with a suit and tie thinking they are superior than others so the snitch why as of our they need to make a publication and have a press conference on this issue before something happened which we know are gonna like it and we don't need it this is a national thing or collective thing either you are a muslim or a christian this is not about me individually we need all to come out and talk and condemn it we need to come out massively and condemn this barbaric act this act is not real this is some bullshit going on in ghana which sometimes i even cry and i don't understand why ghana 21st century and people still looking like a what a zombies come on in the 21st century people looking like uncouth back in the days when we were in the school when we don't know nothing we used to go to worship go to worship by force which i'm a muslim why should i go to worship force we used to go to church when we were in the school by force but they refused to allow us to go to the masjid on friday 
We went to the boarding school for many years. We went to regular school for many years. This is what's going on. Back in the days, you will see even a, 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 our children were not allowed to put on the hijab. They were told, they were told them they need to cut their head. This is not the time. This is a 21st century. We will come up each and every day and condemn this barbaric act. Let me tell you something. You can take a horse to a river, but you can never force the horse to drink from that river. Our ulama, our chiefs, our everything check. Each and everyone on this Friday must talk about this on the member. We need to come out to massively demonstrate about this. We need to come out on social media, talk about this. We need the world to see what is going on in Ghana. The, because the government of Ghana is not helping. The Muslims who are in the parliament, they don't care about the, the being life of the Muslims. Majority of them, they don't care. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Malamai Sukhachi, any Muslim who doesn't care about the life being of a Muslim, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, you are not with me, right? From, even from this world until the year after. And you are a Muslim, people are killing your own brothers. People are beating your own sisters. People are sucking your own sisters. And you are sitting there saying, you are a vice president, or you are MP, or you are a, a minister, or you are assemblyman, or you are a president, and you are everything. And then you come out later on for a campaign for people to vote for you. I bet it for, for my Zango people. I bet it for my Zango people for voting all these guys at the parliament who don't care about the life being of your children, who don't think about nothing about you. What do you see recently? The curriculum, the basic education Arabic curriculum was thrown out in the trash in Ghana, the GES. What did our Muslim leaders in the parliament say about this? But we, when we need a holistic everything in Ghana, no? we need, right? We need to respect each and everyone's religion. That is period. We the Muslims, we believe in the coexistence, in the faith, and everything in Ghana. Don't put hatred between us and the Christian or Buddhism or, or anybody. We the Muslims, we believe, we, li we live with the Christians, we love them, they love us. We don't hate them. Don't put that hatred that you have, the disease in your heart, fear in our children and your children back. Because when you die, you will leave your Muslims brothers, you will leave your Christian brothers, and they still got that hatred and discrimination in their hearts, which is not right. In Ghana, go to the Catholic and the Jewish, you will see them, they go out to their own scarf. Nobody is telling them nothing. No one is telling them nothing. Make sure you share this Come program sense. before I bring them in Come life. I'm gonna bring I them in. This is the last Ghana year video. America. This is There's one year video. America. I'll play a lot of videos people, today. Or someone could tell you not to put them in the hijab or fail. They don't care about it. Go to the White House, you will see them with the hijab. Go to everywhere. American don't care about that. Go to London. Go to Germany. Because Ghana is an uncouf and village. Shatawana the Oka and Ukraine everywhere. It's even more than a village. People don't understand what what is a life. What is life? If some women, some Muslims, they don't wear up the hijab, that doesn't mean that the other Muslims are not what real Muslims or something like that. If a lady is not wearing a hijab, she's a Muslim, that is okay. But the real thing is the hijab. Hijab it defines us as a Muslim. Don't even look at some Muslims who don't wear a hijab. So you think that, oh, because these are Muslims, they don't wear it. So hijab doesn't make no necessary. No, hijab is a compulsory in Islam. But the nikah, the one you put on your face like ninja, that one the ulama says is not compulsory. By covering all your body, define you as a Muslim. Make sure you share this program. I'm going to bring them in life. Who wear hijab in the school? That school belongs to you or that school belongs to your father or your mother, or your nana, or everyone. You came to teach, teach and go. You came to the clinic or hospital to do whatever to supervise, or snit to supervise, do that and go. 
don't interfere with anyone's religion. What does it contribute if someone wear hijab, Catholic wear a veil, Muslim wear a veil? What does it contribute towards the education? Nothing. Nothing. You just have some hatred towards the Muslims. We don't need no war in Ghana. We don't need no violence in Ghana. We want to live peace with Christians. We want to live peace with who? With the Catholic, with everyone. We don't need nothing. We just want to live peace. That is all. Discrimination must be stopped in Ghana. It is not allowed in our constitution. It is not allowed. That is why I love the United States of America. United States of America, no one cares about you. Do your own religion and keep moving. In Ghana, Ghana, back in the days, even some Muslims, they are the ones who protect the Christians. Ask, go and read your history. Go to the Asantini's palace. You will see back in the days, they are writing Arabic in that house. But we are not here to uh, talk about Christians or Muslims. We are talking about those with the high rank, with the suit and tie, ignorant suit and tie people who live in Ghana, who doesn't know what they are doing, who has their own hatred toward the Muslim. Let me tell you something. You don't have to like anybody. You don't have to hate anyone. You don't have to love me, me, myself. You don't have to like me. You don't have to love Muslims. You don't have to care about me. You don't have to watch my video. You don't have to watch about Muslims. Nothing. You don't have to. You can choose to hate us to the core, but that will never stop us from telling you the truth. Ruth, go ahead and do whatever you think that will benefit you. That is the most important in your life. But you Ghana, none of the universities, Islamic schools were accredited. Why? In Ghana, none of them. Go and ask and see what is going on. But I don't blame you. I blame the leaders who are with you in the parliament. Majority of them, they are not even good Muslims. That is all. That is what I can say. I'm not judging anyone and I'm not perfect than anyone. I'm a human being. I could make a mistake. I could make a wrong. I could do anything. But when it comes to the facts, to tell you the right, to tell you the truth, we will come out massively and talk about it. When you meet up face to face, shoot us and let's go. That's all. The time for all the Muslims to even own our own institutions. That is all. You don't have to like anyone. You don't have to watch anyone. You don't have to like the Muslims. That is fact. That is okay. But don't put fear in our children. If I say something wrong, may Allah forgive me. If I made it right, may Allah for take it as if. If you see something that you think, I'll play all the rest of the videos for two years. What has been going to Ghana? This video I just played, history has repeated itself. Last year, they did do to a girl from Tema. And I came out with this video before we went to the hijab walk. Do you remember when we went to the hijab walk? The MP came, or the scholars came in. I'll play you a lot of videos. But before I go to all the videos, uh, let me get you the video of Minister of... Uh, Minister of Zongo, before I bring them in, I'm going to interview these guys. But Minister of Zongo, Mustafa Amid, he talked about this. But I don't understand if these people at the Waik, uh, they don't watch the news, or maybe they don't respect the Muslims, or maybe they don't care, or maybe they think they are superior than others, or whatever, or I don't know what they mean. Uh... This guy, the Muslims must must take him to court. I think the Muslims must come up together, this guy, and take this guy to court. Uh, it's too much. There is one school that did the same thing, and I came to him. Uh, why is this video? Where are you? Don't do this to me, man. I just downloaded you. I have all the evidence all the time. I make sure all the time. That is why I always advise you, these guys. Make sure you do a good video. When you have a good video, the history will always repeat itself. All these videos that I'm going to play, that is a two years, one and a half year videos. But it looked like recently video. This is the Minister of Zango. Look at it. Every day, I get complaints from nurses 
in various government health facilities, complaining that their supervisors and senior nursing officers ask them to remove the hijab. Otherwise, they should go home. They cannot work at nurses. Now, I want to look straight into the cameras and say something. It is very, very important. Good and I want minister. Thank you, minister. Nursing officers, midwives, supervisors of hospitals across the country uh -huh. to listen to me and listen good. Yes. That we are all subject to the fourth Republican Constitution. Mm -hmm. And Article 21, yes. Clause 1C, states that every citizen of Ghana shall have the right to profess the religion of his or her choice, and quote, and the operative word, and to manifest it. And I want to emphasize the word manifest. Now, I want these nursing supervisors and so on to tell me how else you can identify a Muslim woman. How else a Muslim woman can manifest her, for want of a better term, her Islamness, if there's anything like that? How do we identify a soldier who is not in uniform? We call somebody an immigration officer simply because he's in uniform. It's as simple as that. We call somebody a policeman because he's in uniform. Once he throws the uniform away, you are unable to tell who he is. So, whilst it is not a symbol of piety, it is a symbol of identity. Yes. And identity is manifestation. Yes. And the constitution says they have the right to manifest. I got yes. another complaint from a lady who works with the psychiatric hospital, Accra Psychiatric Hospital. It's here. They wrote this to her. Accra Psychiatric Hospital. Memo. Nursing Administration to Adiza to Ibrahim. And now listen. They tell her, on the set date, you were in a hijab. And the deputy director of nursing services wanted to be sure you were aware of the consequences of wearing a hijab. Wow. Are there consequences in our country for wearing a hijab? And then he goes out to say that it is because they are working in a mental health facility and people who are mentally unstable will pull the hijab. She says, at a psychiatric hospital, since a number, and she says, a number of female staff have been injured by patients who were able to get hold of either, and now she doesn't list hijab, she says to get hold of either the hair or the clothing. So then all mental health facility working women should shave. Come on. Well, bless. If you could look at this video, when I was in Ghana, this thing happened. And I came up, I'm going to play all the videos. I have everything. I have everything. I was in Ghana, at the, I think, Either Takura, the one of those clinic. These two females, Muslims, they called me. I was in Ghana. And they said, Brother Khalifa, we are in the clinic. The supervisor at the clinic told us to remove our hijab before we can go in to work. And I said, no, it cannot happen. Give me their number. They gave me the number. I called them. These people don't understand what I'm saying. So the next day in the morning, if a lot of people, that video is still on this page. I was wearing an hijab, a uh, uh, jalbab. That video is here. I was in Ghana at that time. And I came out with a video to bash them. And then I mentioned the minister of Zongo's responsibility is for him to protect the Muslims. That is the minister of Zango. The Zango, if you say Zango, about 97% of people who are living in Zango are Muslims. So what is the meaning of the Zango minister? So I play, I play the video. That video was shared to the minister. I know. It was shared to everyone. And the minister, within a week, he came out with these words. This video at the news, which was great. After the video of this minister, these people scared because the minister of Zongo did a great job on that. No doubt about it. He did a great job on that hijab last year, almost two years now. He fought with them about this hijab. He did a great job. If you don't like him, you don't like him. That is your own problem. What I saw, I'm talking. 
about what I know. Minister of Songo did a lot. After three months to four months, I came back to the United States. Uh, hold on. Me, I have uh, every evidence. So after, so after, uh, after like three months, there is one school in Kumasi, as a quarry The teacher, if you remember that video, that teacher came out again. He sacked the Muslims from the school in Kumasi. What I did was. I call Sheikh Anes, Sheikh Yusuf, and the other Imams, Sheikh Usman, Orlando, Sheikh Watt, and Watt. All the Imams I know in Kumasi, I call them and I told them, this is what is going on with the Muslims. Sheikh Anes, Taufik, he came up to the video. Attack, if you remember that video. We all came in. I called the headmaster. When I called the headmaster, Listen to the conversation between I and the headmaster. Listen to him. And the next day, the headmaster begged me that the student should come back to the school with their own hijab. No problem. Listen to the conversation. I keep all my videos. Any videos you know about me, I have it in my room. I don't throw my videos away. Because of what? Evidence. Future. Listen to the headmaster. Alhamdulillah, summa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah Awusu bi kalib Ana Kwaana kimbaya inza ka gani Tureit government as tureit rayuwa Paka mungi raya bata Ay kakya na misi Na bibi ya wako apom jijay Ya miya du mune te na usule Oh ya miya du mune Misi ya from here Alifa Ewa peace dawa media Facebook page Ah miwa America Na Ibi nebaya nchani kakra about uh, you see Munya Me TV. Me TV now Munya and about Muslim for you see from Monday going Muslim for uncle and mom move for a job. Emba Emba school ever park us who come as in. What is this? I say me say me friend who say I dare be out here. I say I will be 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 here. Jama, don't follow the video audio shit. Let's have a look. Put your hands up. Yes. No, no. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. No problem. Go to me, Kano, Edmaster. Hey, hey, I'm going to go to my body. 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 Okay, Mati. And she had the emblem of the Monday or Mobile School. We must show my job emblem Monday. The number you have dialed is not in service. Okay, Mati. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, me want meet you. Yeah, 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 ma, we share it up because the people say, "Oh, we say, oh, we share." Come on, say no. Say, "Cause I'm calling you share it up because by law in Ghana, no, you have the right to wear it up. You have the right to to do your own worship. All these things, no, and yet this is not the first time it happened. It happened with Ghana. They be around. They be answer no. The GES were able to solve to resolve it. Oh no, we have our own move for no. The person we didn't bebem. So me, to me, no, just leave the leave them alone for them to wear the hijab. That will be the best way for you, because the Muslim, you know, all the Muslim will not understand by them coming to the school without no hijab, because the hijab, I really, really identify as them as a Muslim. If you see a Muslim with hijab, you know that she's a Muslim. Without the hijab, you no, know, it look like on Kolano, a baby be different. And today they are pamacho. Some of them are baby say amaya by Monday. Without them, you no. Know, on Monday, they can say be a Monday. Ma, I'm not sure you job, you know. You name the other people, see our commercial, you know.
video kar wani ya dai yayi kidikidi wurin ranan monday ba mu son wani gaddama fada sakanin mu da wadansu mutane mun shiga cikin magana da mu so mu zo mu faya su ko ina ne kan social media amma tun da mun kira head master shi kuma da ga kawo shirin bai kai bakwai uku ba fa ya fara wanga siya amma kan ne ya gan pressure tun da sassafa daga kuma shin nan cikin shi ya yi zafi shi yasa ni na fi son in kira ka direct ba mu soron ka babu shakka ba komai to amma kowa ya tuna kunni shi mutani da ke kasan kumashi wai ad master nan wai yaran da ke skun fakusu shs ko ba ya sa iba ijabi shi yazo in kun samu wani problem next time in ad master nan ya ce bai yadda ku sa ijab ku yi kokari ku bari mu ji ku je officing mc ali ku ga ya mai ya taimaka muku ku je officing honorable mubarak ya taimaka ku kira eh uh, minister zango yana nan yana represent mutane zango ne ya taimaka kan wannan magana and the uh, officing dr mahmud baumia eh ba ku san officing shi ba ku nemi manaf yana unguwan nan ya taimaka ya gaya da vice president sa'an nan tun wani masala'a wa'anne ke hospital da kuke samu irin wangan ga problem ko kula wani aiki wani wuri da kuke samu wangan masala'a ku yi kokari ku gan officing jimsa office in jimsa akwai yariyan da ta zo na bata namban wani babban su daga santerijin na i think an yi an solve wannan problem daga wani hospital daga wani kauye shi yasa wannan yan jimsa su kuma su la nan for muslims students sun taimaka muku sarkin zangon kuma shi in guwan nan notar tribe yake yana da kyau irin wanda abu ku ta ku koro da sarki ya yi bai da labari limamin ali sunna a santerijin shek ismail Ungwa yake ku kai irin wanga kara next time Limami Tijaniya Abdul Mumin yana nan duk makarantu manyan malaman mun na suna wurin ku je wurin su ku gaya musu dan wala ba aka yazo shi yasa nan za mu barku daga kumashi fakusu duk abin da aka ce da je ran litani ayi mu mun fasa shi tun da kowa ya ji ayi master ya ce wai yaran su sa ijabi su zo ran mande Shesa ya ran mata iyayen da ke wurin ransu ya bata yau mu muna azumi ko ba ya bani biyan shesa ijabi mande mu ji mai rafa ruku ba cikin kumashi domin irin wannan abu ba dai da bane long Ghana ya ba mu anya musa ijabi minister sun Ghana musulmai sun yi wannan fada muna da anya musa ijabi hospital musa ijabi makaranta school ko ina shi ke identify mu as a muslims shi ke sai da na mace mutunci shi ke sai da na mace ko mai ne ne shi yasa nan dan barku ayi kokari don Allah ayi kokari in video ga ya maka kyau kana da kishin musulunci a share mu na wannan video i'll play the next video but the family da ke yaran shi ke yi before i play the next videos ta 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 shi yasa wannan babun fada bane da ni ina gaya muku zamanin da muke fada amma yanzu the power of social media will work insha ma Allah ba da karfi mu ba wannan video zaka so video ne mai kyau da zaka yi ka share da jama'an to yanzu da mu doko wannan abin nan ya abin da mu yanzu da mu fara program da na gama all videos da muke fada da su duka na play dan mutane su san ba abin yau ne nake fada ni da su ba shi ya bane aka yi akwai abubuwa da yawa muka zo Ghana wa ana sa mini ido ni kun bane lafiya kai ba ka san ni bane wa alaikum salam eh shaka ayi do wi shaka na sir shaka how is everything how is Ghana alhamdulillah everything is fine with thank all my ah uh, anybody who just came in make sure you share the program because we are going to start the interview of what happened today 
so you can get the understand you can understand what is going on in Ghana the discrimination on our women is too much it's too much some stupid people they think they are superior than others who are you who you who are, and who? Ah. okay uh, my brother how are we doing Musin? Alhamdulillah, we thank Almighty Allah. Uh, we were here today thank and we Allah. saw a lot of people keep on calling us what has happened about yeah. six six to seven hours ago in Ghana. The issue yeah, of no. hijab, we did this and then uh, it vanished. They kept quiet and now they, are start, they have started again. So can you tell yeah, the people, no. can you tell the viewers what happened today? Please, inshallah, go ahead. Yes, inshallah. Briefly, I, I was calling the morning by one of the by someone that some students have been uh, is allowed to wear the hijab before the examination. They've been prevented from entering the, the examination hall unless they remove the hijab. So the student removed their hijab before entering the examination hall. So I have to rush quickly to the examination center. I went and with the help of some sisters, they sent me the ruling of Supreme Court on the uh, issue of bro hijab. Brother Musen, which, which, no. which, which examination center? What is the name Action of the examination center? High. What is the name Action of the examination? Senior high. Action Senior High Secondary School. That is the examination center. Action Senior High Secondary School. Where, where, does, it, where, where yeah. does it located? Where? Located at Medina Estate. Medina Estate in Accra. Medina Estate now in Accra. Okay, which schools, Accra. which Islamic schools came the, to the center to write to the exams? We had Mercy Islamic Senior High and Anissa Senior High. So Mercy Senior so, High School and Anissa Senior High School were Islamic school? Yes, they are Islamic schools. Okay. With their hijab, they came to the center with their hijab. Okay. But they were not allowed to enter the nation hall with the hijab. But if they are writing their exams at their own center in their school, like exams, normal exams. Do they wear their hijab to write their exams or no? Yes, all of them wear their hijab for the exams. Even their photo, the photographs that they put on, they snap. It was, they are in their hijabs. Even the photo on the on the on the on, on, on you mean on the ID or on the paper of on the exams? ID, why it, why it? information everybody they printed it the headmasters one of the headmasters showed me the uniform they were in their uniform with their hijab on okay it's okay go ahead now we can go ahead yes so i approached the supervisor who is a lady i approached her and asked her i've gathered information that the student have been have been prevented from wearing the hijab before the examination and said she actually said that they shouldn't do it because of malpractice. It's because of examination malpractice. So I asked uh, that in the first place, removing a hijab, how does it affect the examination? I know, and I told her, I know you are from Waik and you know the rules and you know the constitution of Ghana does not allow anyone to be what, discriminated based on what their, their, their code of dress. <clears throat> and she said, yes. But she felt that is how she, 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 that is the decision she took. And we were in the examination, or I, I approached her in the examination. She said, No, let's come out and speak because of the student that right. So we came out, and she said, uh, It looks like I'm angry. I said, No, I'm not angry, but I'm just surprised about her action. And she, she said and assured that they will not repeat that again. And they will make sure that the student, when they are writing their next paper, they will put on the bill. So when they were going to write the second paper, I think she sold some of the instructors. So one of the schools were allowed to enter with the bill. That is Anissa Senior High. But the Mercy Islamic School, the invigilator there, she said, also a lady, she said, no, she, the student will not be allowed to put on the bill. So they called me again, and I climbed upstairs. And I went and told her that why is she preventing the student from writing that the examination without the exam? Said that is the instruction from her. So I was with the Jimsa ladies president, the women president was uh, was with me. So I told her she go and tell the uh, supervisor again. This is what 
one of her instructors or one of the invigilators is saying that she's not aware about the, the current issue. So she went and the, the supervisor told someone to come and tell her to allow the student to allow before she allowed the student to enter the examination hall. So okay. that is what happened. Okay. That, and after yeah, after that, that happened, happened, after that happened, what did you do? Did you no. call the minister of Zango or office of vice president or office of um, national I, chief imam or I anything? Have got, I, I had the contact of um, the special aid of Mustafa Hamid. Faisal. Uh, Faisal. Faisal. Yes. And okay. His phones were off. His phones were off. Oh, so today is uh, today is Monday, right? In, no, no. Yeah, maybe no. today Faisal is in court. You know, he's a he's a lawyer. He's in court today. Today yes, is Monday. Yes, it's so a law, it's a, yeah. Possibility. So that, what time did you call him? What time did you call Faisal? No, I tried calling him since morning. Yeah, he's at the court. with the wife. Yeah, he's at the court. Yes, I, I know he's at the court. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I spoke with his wife, and the wife told him first. He told he told her that he's going to stay. So he later sent me a message around three twenty that um, he tried calling my number, but he did not reach me. My phone, by then my phone went off. To, so I sent him a message that yet my phone went off, but it's on now. But I have not heard from him again, so I don't know. Yeah, I'll call, I'll call Faisal. I myself, I'll call, yeah. I'll yeah. call Faisal yeah. after this yeah. program. I'll call him. Yeah. I don't want to bring so him life what, because he's not aware of it. But after this program, I'll talk to him to see what action are we going to take. Uh, yes, um, I spoke with uh, the, 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 some of the ladies who were involved in the hijab issue. They told me some lawyers would be coming around when I was at the center, but I did not see them. I did not hear from did them. Did you see any I lawyer mean, came yeah. in there? Any Muslims lawyers? No. Did they, you didn't see they, anything they, yet? They, I, I could not see them. They okay, do you have those that. girls, those girls, some of the girls who were being sacked? To yeah, go I, do you I, have I their numbers? Them. I need I, the numbers. You have some of them, their numbers? Uh, the number of students, they were 35. The, the 30, okay, from uh, Anissa School 35 and then uh, Mercy School 35 both, or both, both of them all together? Both school, I think both, both students, according to the headmasters of this, they say the total number were 35. Total number uh, 35. 35, yes, 35. 35 of them were sacked. 35. Yes. Okay, do you have a telephone number? Telephone number of any one of those t uh, students? Um, I think it's on my other phone. That phone is not with me at the moment. Oh, because I, I wanted to, one, yeah. we wanted to interview some of the little guys to see how they feel, what happened, because they they feel very embarrassed and discriminated yes, no, as they are Muslims. They you know, intimidated. They were they they, they, they were really not happy. So when I told them the issue has been resolved, they were very happy and clapping. Okay, they were very very happy. Yeah, but yes. this woman who did that, what did what, like what what are we going to do with her? We need to do something with her. Yes, that yes, I think we we I think there was I've given her even the Supreme Court ruling on previous issues that happened before between <laughs> a, a Muslim student and one other institution, and the ruling has been. There is a ruling on that 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 should not be repeated. Even that issue was removed from court. They say we should settle it outside. And Wakiwai has assured the Muslims that that discrimination will not repeat itself. Again. Yeah, they, so they, I, don't know I remember Wai. Yeah, I remember why he came out with the video. I was looking for the video because today this program yeah. I was in a rush. I have everything, but I will bring it back. I have the document. I have the document from. <sighs> on the Supreme Court ruling and other documents that have to do with uh, um, students that involve BEC. I have all the documents. Yeah, yeah, can you send it to me? Because I have them, but I was in the rush. I don't know where I put yeah. all these facts. Uh, you can send it to yeah. my WhatsApp, please. Because uh, this... I, I will do that. Yeah, this woman, uh, by tomorrow, we are going to talk with the uh, big men. By tomorrow, inshallah. Inshallah. Even if yeah. they don't arrest, they don't take her to court. We we'll like him. We will do al kunut for her. And those people who sent her to come and do that. Because I think there are some people who are giving them that feed for them to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, they see I, I, what the Minister of Zongo say all the time. I think no. there are people who are telling them to do that. 
Okay, do you, uh, do you have anything to say again so I can continue with certain videos? Inshallah. Oh, Inshallah. Do you have anything to say? Any uh, you have any one the uh, last word you can tell people, Inshallah. And the, the only advice is uh, we should also let our Muslim students know that they are right. This is their right. Yes. They should insist on it when it's been, their right is this temple on. They should have to they have to stand on their right. But uh, it will be discriminated. And there are some Muslims who when you are taking this issue, they think that maybe you are being uh, aggressive, this issue should not be something we should take it serious. Mm. So the Muslims, too, we need to come together because today it is someone's daughter, today is someone's sister, tomorrow it might be your daughter, tomorrow it might be your wife. Yes. So we should all come and fight this cause. And I don't know why someone's hijab will intimidate you. I don't know why someone wearing her veil will have problem with your thinking as an invigilator or supervisor. Yes. So this Bringing that issue alone is non-starter. It's non-starter. So if they believe it's not hatred, then it shouldn't come in. They shouldn't start it at all. I think that's what I have to say. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Muxin. Okay, Inshallah, I'll much. get back to you. But make sure you send me those documents. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, because I will do a program with those documents. Exactly. Thank you very much. Uh, whatever, to, to, they, uh, will they, go, they will go there tomorrow to write another items, right? I will find out that they are tempted. Any day that I have, I'll, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us know whatever will happen. But inshallah, after I finish this program, I'm going to talk to Faisal. I don't want to bring him live because he is the side. No. I don't want to bring him live because of no. certain things. But I will talk to him on the other side after I'm finished this program. Inshallah. inshallah. Thank you very much. Inshallah. Thank you. Jama, I will bring Sheikh Musa, uh, Sheikh Abdul Hamid. But before, I want people Jamaa. to know this thing has been happening. We have been fighting for this, not today. And uh, listen to this video. I did this video. Ghana is not a Christian country. Yes. Ghana is not a Muslim country. Ghana is not any other religion country. What? Ghana is a multicultural religion country. Yes. Any Muslim in Ghana, you have the article, 1992 article, clearly from the top to the bottom state that you have the right to practice your religion any christian too is the same thing so don't discriminate against anybody's religion if you are in ghana you are a muslim any institution in ghana clinic hospitals schools universities police department army department navy everywhere in ghana you have the right to put on your hijab as anyone has the right to practice his own religion. Don't get scared at anyone. We have the law Muslim lawyers, we have our Muslims intellectuals, we will match anyone and take them to court, boot for boot, inshallah. On Saturday, we did a what? A hijab issue work in the whole Ghana. All the members of the parliament, majority of them, the Muslims, show up. The office of national chief imam show up. Office of National Chief Imam of Al Islam Nawal Jama'a show up. All the Muslims chiefs and everyone show up. That means that we are serious now. We will never get backwards. Our Imams are behind us. Our MPs are behind us. Our elders and chiefs are behind us. Don't get scared when you go to school with your hijab. Any teacher, any administrator, headmaster, whoever talked to you about your hijab or being a Muslim, report it right away to us. Go to the office of Al Islam Jama'a, office of the chief Imam, report it. We need the name, picture, and everything about that person. We will match with him, put for put. Nana Kufaro just last week went to Kumasi Ashanti region. He sat with the chief of Zambu, Umar, Umar Farouk. He sat with him and some other imams. They talk about this hijab one on one privately. And Nana Kufaro says, We will do something about it if we find out anyone who misbehave or who did anything discriminate the Muslims. We will march him to court. Anyone. Any institution in Ghana, bank, everything. Be careful of being so discrimination about Islam. We are against any violence in Zambo community. We are against any violence in Ghana. But we need our sister to have their right to wear their hijab 
That is their identity. That is all what we need. We don't need nothing. The Christians, they do their own thing. We never complain, do nothing. The Buddhism does the same thing. Why, why the Muslims? Why? You have so much hatred, disease, and HIV in your heart. Go to everywhere in the Western country. I'm living in the United States of America. God bless America. Go to any institution, even the White House in, in America, you can put on your hijab. No one will say anything. Ghana is a village. If you find out in any institution you are the problem, any discrimination against Islam in Ghana, report it immediately to us. We have our lawyers already. 24 hours. We have also heard about the Wesley College or Wesley Secondary School in Ghana. The Muslim children are there. They wanted to go and pray and the administrators stopped them. Be very careful. This is a warning shot before we bring your information on social media. The same thing happened to the snitch. We brought the lady and in interview her live on Peace Our Media Facebook. The lady from KNUSD, we also interview her. And the little girl in Accra who is writing a hazams at the Wa'ik, I interview all of them. You could see that on social media going around. Why this kind of discrimination and disease towards the Islam? Any one of your kids going to school, wear your hijab in secondary school, clinic, hospitals, bank, everywhere. If you have anyone who says remove it, report it immediately to us. We will match them boot for boots with our knowledge and our money and our social media power. When was Ghana born? 1956, right? Islam was in Ghana 80 more years before even Ghana was born. Islam was in Ghana before even the president of Ghana. All of them were born. And why? At that time, people are practicing their religion, both Muslims and Christians, without no fear, no nothing. Why now? Because you have so much disease and HIV in your heart. Why the Christians are living peacefully, practicing their own religion without no fear? Why is it that the Muslim cannot do the same thing? We go to the school, Christian schools. Sometimes they force us to go to the church by force. Even our own Quran says, La ikraha There is no composite of force in religion. A Muslim is not supposed to force a Christian to practice Islam. The same way a Christian are not supposed to force the Muslim to practice uh, Christianity. It, there is no force in religion. You have your own choice to practice whatever you want, but at the end of the day, when you get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is where you go into get all the judgment you will see the consequences of what you did into this world even if you have a problem with the muslims show respect to the vice president of ghana as a muslim show respect to the mps the ministers who are muslims show respect to the national chief imam the whole lot of africa we don't have there is no country in africa who has a chief imam only ghana has a chief imam that is what you have. you need to know. The Islam is so powerful in Ghana. Show respect to the chief imam and the vice president of Ghana. Any institution in Ghana, if you don't want us to show your pictures and your videos of your hatred on social media, stay away from sacking Muslim or banning them from for, for wearing hijab. That is all. Otherwise, you will see the consequences of your life on social media very soon. And we never get scared of no one. We are in the 21st century, the back in the days of modern misguided and misconception about the Islam is gone. People are wise now. Ghana is a village. Very soon, Islam will dominate the whole Ghana. Very soon, we will have a president as a Muslim. Mark it on the wall. Mark it on the wall. Very soon, we will have a president as a Muslim in Ghana. Show respect to the late uh, Ali, uh, Ali, uh, Dr. Ali Muhammad who died. May his soul rest in peace. Very soon, we will have the president of Ghana as a Muslim. I have a Christian friends who are go out with them 24-7. We never had no problem. Ashtown, uh, Fantinu Town, Crow Room, 
teach them so everywhere that is all my people all my friends but they respect us we respect their religion why people are so getting so hatred you wanted to have a problem with the muslims and christian in ghana we don't need that you can choose to hate the muslims in ghana but let me tell you something never attack the messenger just attack the message never attack the messenger attack the message did you see how the pictures of Mary the Jesus Christ mother and the Jesus Christ himself the pictures you have in your churches in your houses those pictures are what look at how Mary was dressed is that how the Christians are dressing common sense we have a lot of Christians who go to the Muslim schools but we never force them to go to the mosque when it's time for mosque or time for prayers but why is it that when we go to the Christian schools they force people to go to church or worship this is nonsense we the Muslims in Ghana we are against violence so we want we don't want no one to force us to do whatever they want us to do no you cannot force anyone to do what you need them to do practice your religion I practice my religion period go to all the markets in Ghana Kajetia, Makola market Accra circuit you will see the pastors with the big big mic and speakers out on the streets disturbing the people people noise disturbing the public DTP noise they say they are preaching on the streets looking at money but we the Muslim never complain about that but why is it that when the Muslims you hear the call of prayer Hazan Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar you get upset I don't blame you because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says whenever a, a Satan hear the call of Azan Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar he gets scared and run away that is why you running away because when you heard Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar God is calling you God is calling you God is great God is great God is great that is the meaning of Allah Akbar God is great you don't know the meaning so that's why the minister came up he says we should use a text messages to call Hazard go and tell those pastors at the market to use text message to preach I live in Kumasi Ashanti region right there by airport runabout my house is in the middle of two churches one church here one church here I'm in the middle on weekend I can't stay in that house I have to leave I can't take a nap because they're gonna be having what church services on Saturday and Sunday sometimes at midnight they come for night prayers I can't sleep but I never complain because they are worshiping their own their own God I don't have to complain but why is it that the Muslim Muslims calling Azan you these people got hatred on that you need to wise up sometimes a fool is better than you you need a new brain to understand what is going on in this world we the Muslims in Ghana it is our right to practice our own religion it's not something we need to beg for it Christians they, it is their right to practice their religion it's not something for the Christian need to beg anyone as I told you earlier Islam and Christianity came before Ghana Ghana just came in how many years was Ghana form we are in the 21st century where we can stand in anywhere and talk anywhere with the knowledge people who understand who who are knowledgeable not those people who got so much virus in their brain don't sit at your office with your suit and tie thinking that you are better or superior than anyone we are all equal we are all equal the only one who is better than you is the only one who is better than you is who is who in the akramaka in the lahi at kakum anyone who has more iman better than you that is the person who is superior than you in in front of god we thank you all who show up on saturday at the work of the ijab the whole ghana we thank all the members of parliament who show up we thank our chiefs our imams then the office of national chief imam the office of national chief imam of al-sunnah wal-jama'ah the rest of the muslims 
everyone we thank you very much and we even thank those christians who are against that who came on to show our dear solidarity on that we thank you all may allah bless each one of you the organizers everyone those people on peace our media who shared them who shared who spent their money anyone who did everything may god subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all to you honorable muntaka mubarak as well as consistency for showing off uh, at the at the program thank you very much may god bless you thank you honorable or uh, mr shaib armiao spokesperson for a uh, national chief imam thank you very much for showing up for showing for standing for the muslim thank you very much thank you to the deputy chief imam of al sunnah wal jamaa sheikh muhammad kamil may god bless you may allah bless you thank you all to the chiefs in kumasi consistency god bless you all i bless you, each one of you oh uh, you see these videos i have only one more videos when i went to the capital here in america they invited us for a program i took this case of hijab in Ghana there, I want you to listen to a little bit of something. Nothing has been done. How the ninja and capital house in the United States, the state capital in the United States, if you look at it, a lot of women were here wearing a hijab. There's nothing going on at the capital house. A lot of Muslims are here. Look at the Muslims are here. They represent the Muslims in this So all these cases in the Ghana, they need to wash up. Ghana is not a Muslim or Christian country. It's a multicultural country. If you look at the case of uh, uh, a lot of things which is going on in Ghana, look at we have a national chief demand in Ghana, even the whole West Africa. We don't have no national chief demand only in Ghana. Look at the vice president, he's a Muslim. So they need to show even respect to him. Muslims there in the United States here we went to the state capital and I was talking there there's a lot of people women at the state capital in the United States they were home with the hijabi no problem no problem man why Ghana why people that's why I tell people there is more hatred and discrimination between the blacks and blacks better than the white and blacks I'm telling you because some people they are not even wise I have a lot of videos, but me, we will bring, uh, let me just call Sheikh Abdul Hamid Kishki, let me see what he has to say to the people. Uh, make sure you share this program, make sure you write on your page, leave yeah, our woman alone. Salam alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum, salam. Uh, Sheikh, you are on, on the line right now. Yes. Okay, inshallah. What do you have to say about this program? I hope you are watching us. Yes, I watch the program and... Uh... بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله مضى. It's quite unfortunate that we still we are in the 21st century and we still have religious bigots in Ghana. It's very 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 you know, puzzling that a country that prides itself in you know, freedom of expression, freedom of religion, and then a country that prides itself in its hospitality and love and brother, we still have people who hold some level of power. 
in our societies that think that a Muslim woman in her hijab is a threat, a Muslim woman in her hijab poses danger to them. So I, I don't know what to say, but then the issue is Muslims should get up and stand on their feet because some of these people are recalcitrant. They don't want to stop what they are doing and they won't stop until we use one of them as a scapegoat. Yes. I always say this, this is an opportunity for us to sue Wayek again and then sue that supervisor, make use of this opportunity, turn him into a scapegoat. That is what I think we must do. Because if we don't sue anybody and then bring out the heat on the person's body, they won't stop doing that. It happens every year. Anytime there is going to be an exam, someone wants to make headlines. Our sisters in Smith are not safe. Our sisters in the nursing schools are not safe. Our daughters in the schools are also not safe because someone somewhere has this feeling that uh, they, 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 they have a monopoly of wisdom that a Muslim lady should not wear her hijab. No. So Khalifa, it's, it's, it's quite sad that we're living in times like this, that someone who wants to do this, it's very, 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 very sad. We have Muslim caucus in parliament, they should take it up. We have the office of national chief imam, they should take it up. We have office of al Sunnah Ujama, they should take it up. We have Komo, they should take it up. We have Fomwa, they should take it up. This Abarma Allah, Magan and Gida is over because these people do not understand that language. What they really understand is the court of law for breaching the rules and regulations of the country. It's over. Enough is enough. We need to have our peace. Our women need to have their peace. Our students need to have their peace to concentrate and write their exams. Can you imagine the kind of trauma, the psychological and emotional trauma that these young girls have gone through this morning? They prepared for the exams for all these months. Last night, they probably didn't sleep. They come early in the morning to write an exam. Then what bigot says, they should take off their exam before they'll be allowed to write an exam. How can these young ladies really, really, you know, uh, 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 have the concentration to sit through the exam? I have reports that the issue has been resolved and that they've written, they were allowed to write the second paper uh, with their hijab. It is not enough. The psychological and emotional trauma that these young girls went through cannot be resolved. And until we prosecute somebody and the laws take effect on that person, these people will not stop this madness and foolishness that we are doing. Until we make good use of this opportunity, Khalifa, I always say this. The Almighty Allah sends us, you know, opportunities from time to time for us to get up and stand on our feet and fight for our rights. But nothing, most often than not, we, we, we just throw it down to the carpet and say, oh, we are peace-loving people, so long as they have apologized, and that is the end. No, this time around, an apology is not going to be accepted. Out of court settlement is not going to be accepted. We need to make good use of this opportunity. This scapegoat that has come, Khalifa, let's do me and Kwaka with it. That's what we must do. If you do me and Kwaka with it, next time another person will think twice before you know wanting to disturb our sisters. Yeah, I agree with you, Jack. I really, really agree with you. I'm going after 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 this program. I have to call on um, Faisal. No. to see what is what, what is the outcome yes i'm going to call faisal on this because he knows about it so i have to call him inshallah to no. see what and finally outcome. khalifa i'll be very 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 disappointed if nobody sues wayek this time around yes yes some time ago was the regional gym sir with Aj said jamlu of tabradi when a muslim lady was prevented from writing from death to hijab they sued wayek and wayek sought or you know out of court settlement and we agreed that okay no problem since they wanted they want an out of court settlement we'll settle it out of court but then it is still continuing yes why should call its people to order why should call its people to order they should make sure that their people are following the rules of ghana why is not an independent you know uh, institution that can do whatever they want to do or the employees in Waek cannot just flout the rules of the regulations of the country just anyhow. No, we should sue Waek and then sue that gentleman too, so that Waek will know very well that anytime one of your employees flouts the rules of Waek itself and the country, they are not going to get it easy. So I'm very, very disappointed if by tomorrow morning I don't hear of any lawsuits from any of our institutions.
issues. That they must guarantee to us that we'll be able to protect our daughters, our sisters. Because why the Khalifa, these are some of the things that leads to, you know, uprising and violence in some places yes. if the people are not double headed. If yeah. you watch the situation now on Facebook, some of our brothers are saying when we start beating people, they will listen to us. But yes. Not the way to right the now, I saw I saw many many comments on that. Yes, people <laughs> are saying when we start beating them, they will understand. But that's not the way to solve the problem. Yes. We can't also take the law into our own hands. So we are calling upon the brothers that no, we are not going to beat anybody, but we are going to make sure the law whips them and beats them very very well. Yeah. Inshallah. After Inshallah. this, I have to make a short video for that, Inshallah, after nah, this Inshallah. program, Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very much, Sheikh. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, all the videos that I play, those are all videos. Because always when we want to do something, we have evidences, like back in the days, what happened and we did. These are two years and one and a half years videos, which has been happening in Ghana. It happened every year. It happened every time. So why don't we come together to fight about on this? Where are our lawyers? Where are they? Where are our people? How much you need to go uh, to see this? Let's see that lady. Let's see her. That's all. But I'm sitting here in the United States. The only thing I can do better mine to contribute is for me to open up, to come out and talk about it for people to know what is going on. We are all Muslims in Zengos. It will happen to your kids tomorrow. We never know. These people are taking us for granted. But you sitting in Ghana, you do this, I don't care. You do this, I don't care. Do you think it will solve? If I don't come out to bring this breaking news, to let people know, maybe you don't even know what is going on. I will talk. You know the way. She'll have money. This half the way. Let's come up collectively. Take that, take, take Waik to court. Like what the Sheikh say, this is a scapegoat. We should use this scapegoat to what? To prepare me and Kwakwa. Yeah, we should use this scapegoat to prepare me and Kwakwa. We should take her to court. But people will just sit and, and fold. What can we do? How much money do you need? We can come out and contribute and get money. To take her to court, one well, night we can do that on Peace Dawa Media. If anyone wants to do it, we can get money for you. But we are sitting here. Me alone cannot do anything. It has to be a collective. We are people, we have our lawyers, we have everybody. Sacrifice yourself for the sake of Allah, and Allah will bless your job. Any lawyer you know, let's come out together. Let's do this. By tomorrow, go to court and see will work. That's all. So, if all the time, this is what the American black people are doing. If you do this, something, the black people will never get scared. They will go to court. But if everyone says, oh, I don't care. Oh, I'm an MPP. Oh, I'm an NDC. This will never stop. This is not about politics. This is about Islam, about your religion. This is about your religion. You need to protect your kids. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Our four forefathers, they really, really did their best in Ghana. Let's continue the fight. Let's continue the good work. Remember, we all die one day. If we don't come out to support this, and you just keep quiet, that's it. This is a scapegoat. We need to, to use this scapegoat to prepare me and Kwakwa. That is what Sheikh Abdul Amir was saying. We need to use this scapegoat to prepare me and Kwakwa today. We got here and red handed. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Today we have a minister of Zango. We have a chief imam. We have a chief justice. We don't know tomorrow if we will have them. Remember that. We still have them. Let's use the advantage to attack these people, my Zongo community. I am not telling people to go and do any violence. No. We can match anyone to court. We have a court. Let's spend money to protect our dignity in Ghana. I'm telling you the fact. 
we will come and talk. If you scared, then you are not a real good Muslim. Don't get scared of anybody. The only thing anybody can do to you, to kill you, or to put you in the prison, so what? Everyone gonna die anyway. Kullu nafsin za'ikat al maut. Kul inna al maut al lazina tafirrina minum fa innahu mulaqikun. Al aqum al takasur al tasur tumul makabir. Kullu ma alay hafan. Take this four ayah. This is a four ayah. And put it in your mind. Don't scare at anybody. Talk. You will die and die. Everyone is going to die anyway. Who is going to stay? Who? But you are in Ghana because of politics. You see something, you don't want to talk. Because you will lose the brown envelope. Or you will lose your power. You will lose your power because you can't talk. Yawma la tamluku nafsu. You remember that? Don't scare at anybody. But nobody is a king, only God. Don't please anybody, only your maker. Do everything to please your maker. Your maker will protect you. Your maker will protect you. Tell the truth. Eh? Even if nobody take it. The truth is a truth. Even if nobody see that. Truth is always a truth. Even if nobody see that. Let people insult you. Tell the truth. Let people do anything. Tell the truth. Let people beat you. Tell the truth. A truth is like a, a couch. Right? Or a chair. No matter what, you will sit on it one day. So when you see truth, tell the truth. This hijab thing, we talk to you about it every day. There are more people who knows how to talk better than us. They don't even come out to talk. There are more people here who speak English better than what we, we, we speak, but they don't come out. There are more people here who speak Hausa better than I. They're scared to come out. There are more people who here who are here who speak better than better tree than I. They're scared to come out. There are more people here who are knowledgeable than us. They're scared to come out because of politics. What is politics? Do you know the meaning of politics? You can be MPP today and be NDC tomorrow. You can be NDC today and be MPP tomorrow. That is politics. That is politics. And whatever you do. Remember, you are going to die anyway, and you are going to be in your grave. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you whatever you did in this world. In kala ayram for ayram, wa in kala sharru for sharru. Whatever you do, all the secrets, yawma tubala sara'iru, fa malahu mi kuwatin wala nasar. You get accountable of whatever you do. Anything you do this world, you get and you do an accountability of it. So that's why we don't care. If you like me, I like you. You don't like me, I don't like you. That is all. You don't have to like me. If you, you feel like liking me, I like you. If you love me, I love you. Any woman who love me, I love her. Huh? <laughs> that is all. Live your life. That is why I brought a video out about our malams who are following politicians. The video is still here on this page. If you follow politicians, right? If you follow politicians, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is a lot of hadith where our prophet says, if you keep on following these people, you will see something that you want to talk about it because of what they are doing to you you get scared of doing what? Of saying it. So the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Anis, he already told us to stay away from politicians. That video is still here. I think many people did not see that video. It's still on this page. If you, could, you are looking for that video, that video is still here. I'll play that video before I finish. That is my last video. Inshallah, I'm going to play that video and then 
we call it a quit. A lot of people here did not see that video that I made about following politicians. About following politicians. Listen to this video. This is the video. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Na'uzu bi kalimatillahi ta'amadu min sharri mahalika. Wannan nasi'a yala zuwa da ni da kaina sa'annan yala zuwa da sarakai sa'annan yala zuwa da malamai sa'annan yala zuwa da samaruna sa'annan yala zuwa da opinion leaders sa'annan yala zuwa da duk wani mutum da yake da mutunci a cikin society to wannan abu in ka dake wannan nasi'a sakanin mu da Allah muka ce bari mu fito mu zo mu yi wannan nasi'a listen to this video i made it two weeks ago cikin society bawon Allah da bauyin Allah da mutum da kake kallo na in kai sarki ne ko kai malami ne wannan magana ba magana ne da rifi to baki na ba wa in kana maluma da kansu wannan magana directly adisai ni in gattatun adisai da fito bakin annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam malamai suka ce tuna sarwa yana taimaka da alhumma annabi Muhammad mai yiwa akwai sarki da kake kallo na mai yiwa akwai malami da kake kallo na mai yiwa Oh, who is this? Anybody? A quiet one who look at you, Mutuna, you want to a man to a she natural need a lay a cow with a mutton. She sat at your way to Nasarwa. Yala tima kada aluhumma an Nabi Muhammad. To wanna abu dadan zore shi shi ni lama rimba tun muta ni mwana Afrika. To muke bim politicians, ko muke bim muta ni masu kudi, ko muke bim wanda Allah ya bashi wani. Oh, oh, what the, what the hell is this? Ilin makamanchun wa ennam. Haride kai maalami ne ko kai sarki ko kai mifadi ajini. To kasa anka di kata adua Allah ya kia yika da bimu politicians Allah ya kia yika da bimu masu kuri Allah ya kia yika da kwadai Kuba Allah ya kia yika da tumwana abu da dezo ya distracting ka From kai chikin lama ring adini ka Yumi akwai adisai da nandina nemo abake maluma Da danzu yu wannam program Na kira maluma abani Na sun komi ya dachi ka mamma zon Allah ya taba makanenshi Politics da kake kallon ga yana yi zub da mutuncin mutum da ake kallon ka cikin society da ba kan da ka ba ka sha wannan program ka sha wannan ne last video da zamu tashi kila fadi a ci to bin kwadai mai kudi ko bin kwadai wurin politician wurin lobby ko wani makamancin aka nan yana yi zub da mutuncin kai kiman kan kai malami ne yana yi zub da mutuncin kiman ka in kai sarki ne yana yi zub da mutuncin kai in kai eh mai fadi a ci Irun wana abu deki zua Ani da kai na aka Dei ya ifaruda ni kode ifaruda kai To Allah muki ruku ya kia yimu De zami ya nashidang Ya kumabani kullu muna sikang Alikitabu wa sunna Da irun magana maluma Wana magana na fargo shini Dumbu tunda kaza maka mankai Mi fadi ajini kaki di kima Halide kadangan takanka The politics Koka ganteng kakanka Da bimu wani me shuga bako ma sukudi To Dia ia zut dan mutun cengka aja kini susah itu. Baca kakabi politik suku kakak suwan dekak kisu pasari ba. Amma kesah si dekak chicken chicken kan. Sebab udah one of politicians they come and go. Mungkin yang zui bok si kara food ko si kara eight. Ya so kawan ni kubai zui yai kasa. To dekai kakek one dekai kai. Kakak mama ikin dihak kawan muta ni suka kani. Kai kan dekak. To dek susu kawan si ya zui. Si kakak mutun cengka ya faru zui wa awal wa enna. Farko a cikin zango community da kai kaga akwai wasu mutane da sunan su hands down da sun yi magana ba magana to amma lamarin sa jikin su da politicians ko sa jikin su da masu kudi shi bane kibo su zo zo isa wannan muna son mu bada wannan nasiya sakani na da Allah da ni da kaina da kowa baki daya malamai suka ce akwai adishi da imam Munsiri ya rawaito a cikin wurin imam abin gabo imam Ahmed Malamai suka ce manzo Allah ya ce duk mutum da dai ta bin kamar misali politician ne ko mai kudi ko wani irin mai wakami da ka ta bin shi 
to wannan bin shi da kake yin nan da yazo ya distracting ka a cikin lamarin addinin ka ya tuce ka cikin addinin ka ko ya sa kai bi da kake yin nan a duke ka a lobby a zo a tuce addinin ka wannan alisi karara yana cikin litafin fa malum masu fi mu sarin shi wannan alisi manzo Allah na cewa don mutum da yake zuwa wurin shugaba ko ya zo kofar shugaba da fitunar da shi ko a bi ciki a fitunar da addishi a abin nan addini shi cikin litafin imam albani sisilatul hadis sahih jamaluma wa imam albani ya ingata wannan hadisi a cikin litafin shi malamai ko fi mu sarin malamai suka ce wadanga da kake kallo masu makami ko politician ne ko sarakai ne ko wani mai kudi ne Allah ya ba su abin da ake ci mai mata'ul gurur shine ya ba su huduwa na mai na duniya to duk wa'annan mutane in da ka zo misali ka zo daga wurin su mai da su yi maka da su a ce maka ku jera babba ka samna eh su yi maka lore su yi maka mato su baka kudi ka je aikin aji su taimaka maka taimakon da kai fitan ankali layya ya kai a sai maka rago in kana bidan abu kaza a maka duk abin da kake bida su masu kudi ne da su yi maka to wannan nan ya sa ya zo kana kallon ga gaskiya ba ka kafadi domin ka fadi wannan gaskiya da ya dame wa'annan masu makami gobe ba da su iya su yi mai ba su taimaka maka ba shi yasa kai ma ka gan gaskiya ko ni na gan gaskiya ba dan yan fadi ba wannan magana da nake fadi ya ya faru da ni da kaina da nake zamani jami'a na shetan ne da ya faru da ko wane ne ba wanda ya fita cikin wannan magana amma malami da ake ce masu sufiyan alkawi ya yi wanga magana ya ce to da aka zo kala jin dadi dun abin da kuke yi alaka ka kulla tsakanin kai da su to wannan ya bane ya zo ka kan gaskiya ba ka yi kafadi gaskiya wanga magana hanni da kaina da ya faru da malamai suka ce akwai tabi'i da yayi wanga magana ya ce mutum mutum da ya shiga wurin sarki ko wani mai makami ko wani mutum mai ake kallo irin politician aka za ka shiga da addinin ka ka fito ba da addinin ka ba domin da ka karma ma wannan politician ko wannan sarki ko wannan mai kudi ka doka kashi bisa ka mai kirari amma ka fito ko ba ka zo daga wurin mutane yan wayin ka mabiyan ka ka yi musu kariya to wa'annan abu malum ma da mu da kai da komi da samaruna mutum da kake da mutunci a cikin society to ya kai lokaci da ya kamata wallahi mu sa an kadi kwarai mu kuma ta addu'a wannan zamiya na shidan da ya faru da kowane ne Allah ka kama na saukin shi malamai suka ce manzo Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ce abu uraira ya rawo wannan hadisi malamai suka ce masu karatu ko masu ilimi da suka doki kansu suka danganta da shugabanni ko suke yawan ziyarar kamar misali sarakai ko masu kudi ko irin makamancin wannan politician suna ziyarar su barin je visit wani barin je wurin mp wani barin je wurin minister wani barin je wurin president barin je wurin wani to wai Allah na fushi ma wa irin wa'annan mutane wanga magana ba ni ke fadi ba karara cikin hadisin annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam malamai suka ce wannan hadisi sai yin hadisi wannan abu very dangerous ne billahi lazi wannan hadisi an ce wayar cikin sirni bin maja kenan ko hadisi na amsin ko ba termisi ko ba yara wai to wannan hadisi kuma malamai maybe wannan hadisi bai zo maka ba ko ya suke fa ka shi mu koma mu karanta wannan hadisi da manzo Allah ke cewa wannan Allah ke fushi da su shine mutum mai ilimi amma yana ziyaran shugabanni kullun shi ya je wurin shugabanni ko ita ta je wurin shugabanni wannan magana muna roko da muna kyakkyawan fadimta da muka je mu ni na ta nayi yawo ni na nemo don saboda in samu yin magana kan shi akan dalilai alkitab wa sunna mai yiwa wannan lokacin batun election da ya ka muna wani sauki a cikin community to shi yasa ka kan kaman zango da ya ayi wani abu kaman kan aka kashe mana yaran zango da ya dai safi da malamai da sarakai suka yi fada da kyakkai suka yi kokari Allah ya saka muku da alheri amma maganar mu ina yake hal yau ba yan kama kowane police da ya kashe wani ka yara akwai malamai da suka ce adishi da ya fito wurin Anas bin Malik ya ce malum ma su ne mai amina wat mu'minai amina mu'minai na adishi malamai suka ce manzo Allah ya yi ma mutane malum ma da masu karatu kashidi su kiyaye bin mai sa'awa da kwa shugabanni domin in suka yi aka da su kare su su canda wat 
su tucen da mafiyar su ko mutane da ke nisu in wannan adishi mazo Allah ya ce malon ma su ne aminan manzannai kaji magana ko to wannan adishi duka malon ma su san su yana cikin littafi nan manzannai akan bayan Allah matukan wannan malon ma ba su kulla alaka da ba da kaman misali eh sarakai ko masu kudi ko irin politician ma sa nan manzo Allah na magana kaman kar a kulla alaka sakanin malami da eh mai kudi ko irin sarakai masu kudi ko kuwa misali irin politician ba kunna alaka da su da karfi ba ka ba an tucar da wata mafiya akwai malami da ake ce mai sayyid burkusai ya ce idan ka ga malami na shiga urin shugabanni ko masu kamar irin politician kenan mu ce aka ko masu kudi yana shiga ya fita ya shiga all the time ya je office mu ya tina ya tina to in ji wannan malami wai a guje shi don wannan mutum barawo ne shi sanan hatta samari da kake kallo ko wani irin mutane ya ce shi yana fin politician kullu ka ganshi da ni office kaza kullu ka ganshi da shi nan to yana iya kare zama barawo wannan ala ya atuce al'umma da shi sa'an nan malamai suka ce cikin wani hadisi manzo Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ce eh maluma su kudi eh su kar su doki jikin su su sa ba su gaban nan nan manzo Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam na cewa eh kaman misali malami kar ka doki kanka ka sa ka ba su gaban nan kamar irin politician da mene ne sun distract ka cikin addinin ka su distract mutane a cikin lamarin addinin ka sa'annan su ladata maka kai da kanka lamarin addinin ka shi yasa wannan nasiya ne nake ba kaina da kai da ki ba dole bane ka doki wannan nasiya amma in ka doki ka zama na kai tunani tun mutum da ka zama shugaba ko ka zama malami to yana da kyau ko sana'a ne da ka je ka nemi ka tayi kuma kana lamarin malanta kanka to ya fi muna alheri je muna bin irin waɗannan eh, politicians ba gamin gashi nan lokacin election ya kai muna da maluman mu magabata dewa da suka mutu a kasan Afirka ba ruwan su da lamarin politicians komai wallahi sun wanye duniya lafiya cikin rayuwarsu waɗanda suka sa kansu da lamarin politics shi ka gan kiman su a cikin community me da kyau shi yasa wannan magana ba kowa ne da ya fito ya yi wannan magana ya zo ya gaya da malamai da sarakai ba shi kamar irin diyan ku aka kuma ni kadai ne ake kira na abokin maluman gana ba ta ba samu wani ba tun da aka kafa gana to ba wanda dai zuwa da maluma wannan tuna sarwa ne maluma sun san san addisan da na fadin ga duka mu ba masu karatu bane amma mun je mun yi tambaya cin akwai addisai da manzo Allah yayi bayani shi aka ba mu mu zo mu ba yan waye mu wannan magana da lai duka wani na nan da ake kace magana ya ba ta maka rai to amma ba shi ya kamata ya ba ta maka rai ba wai don attack the messenger ba ta attack the message wannan magana da rai nan ba magana kai na ko guda ciki tun magana da rai duka magana ne da ke cikin littafai adisan manzo Allah in danta tun adisi in dai ka ce kana bin adisin annabi alkitab wa sunna to wannan adisai kenan ba ni na fadi ba shi sa kar ka attack the messenger da ni ne messenger ba ta ka attack the message da ni na fadi to Allah ya sa da mini kokarin eh ya suna shiga kyakkyawan manufa ko kyakkyawan nufi a cikin irin magana da muka zo da shi domin zamani da kake kallo a kan wannan na'ura ko zamanin da cikin zango community kana iya kai magana kai ka zo da eh manufa mai kyau shi a juya maka magana a baka wani manufan da ba wannan ne kake nufi ba domin mutum da kake kallo ga ba inda da kai maki yin kai so ka sa wani na ne yanzu aka yaji wannan magana har shi ya bata to amma kan ranka ya bata ka yi magana kana bata ranka da hadisi ba ni ke fadi ba ba in kana mu mun je mun nemo ne don mu zo mu yi nasiya mai yawa yamma da muke kan social media da mu yi muke yi kan wannan magana da nayi rana guda ne ya faru da ni cikin zamiya na shidan da ya faru da kowa no one is perfect ni da kana da nake zamanin ga amma not perfect amma wannan bai sa a ce kaman malami wani masalaha yazo gwamnati ya kira shi ko masalaha yazo gwamnati yazo wurin shi ko ya tashi ya je wurin gwamnati ya nemo da musulmai akin su ko ya je ya yi magana wannan shi 
ba irin wannan ake nufi ba so amma wannan bai sa a ce kamar misali a cikin maluma wannan ke da ilimi gwamnati ne doke shi aiki na dai shi ke da wannan ilimi a kuma doke shi aiki wannan gurbo malamai suka ce babu damuwa amma kar ya zama kana bin wa'annan mutane da kwadai kullun kana bin su komi kana bin su komi kana bin su to das ya su distracting ka ko su distract tun abin da muke ci duk baki da to Allah muke ruko ya kiya mu da zamiya na shirin Allah ya muna jagora kan da kaji wannan message in da kai ka aika da dan wanka shi ma ya ci amfani Allah ya saka maka da hiri ni ne na ku abokin malum man gana ko da kaka ce kagan wannan video kuma na nayi share kan page ga ina ba nasiya da yan wayen mu da wayan da ake ganin kima su cikin zango su kiyaye kansu da bin politician da politician su ga da kake kallo they come four years ko eight eight years in kai wasa kana yi ka zudda mutuncin ka a lamarin irin wa'annan mutane ka kama kanka ka kama girman ka ka respect kanka ka nemi nayi shi nake karo da yafi maka nemi ba tun magana da muka zo muka yi na hijab to Allah muke ruko wannan bauyan Allah da tayi da musulmai aka da wa'annan suka sa ta da wa'annan suka sa an ta sa wannan kiyaye tayi da yariyan mun na aka mun barta da Allah Allah gare muka barta in Allah bai shirya wa wani to Allah shirya mu inda mu ta bai shirya wa ne to Allah shirya da ita in ba mai shirya ba ne Allah ka ne santar da ita da kiyayen musulmai mu kuma musulmai da muke nan kowa ya gama annu tun inda za ka yi ka taimaka da addini ka gurgudun alinka shi kai ma kai shi ni mai shi amin yi kyau da kallo muna muku godiya kware da kuka samu ku zo kuka hauna kuka share program kuka kawo naku magana to Allah Allah saka muku da alheri Allah biya muka tun duka baki da ya wannan kire karshen magana da nake kallo da iko Allah da mu barku daga nan yau ne karshe na cikin mu abin nan watotin na abin kwanaki na na salla to kuskure da muka yi tun da muka fara program ga Allah muka yi ko yafi mana wannan muka yi dai Allah ka karba ma su neman mata da maza Allah ka ba su da gari wa'anda ke da gidan aurin ku Allah ka fara zaman lafiya ma su neman aifuwa Allah ka ba su wa'anda ke da juna bin Allah ka sauke su lafiya wa'anda ke ture suke neman takadda Allah muna ruko ka ba su takadda mai albarka ma su neman aiki Allah ka ba su aiki mai albarka wa'anda ke nima ilimi Allah ka ba su ilimi mai albarka ma su neman gome ne mai lafiya Allah ka ba mu lafiya mai albarka Allah muna ruko ka ba mu lafiya mai albarka wa'anda suka gabata suka mutu Allah ka ji kansu Allah ka sa sun huta sabon kushiwa sufun kushiwa na musulmai duk baki da Allah ka ji kansu mun kuma da muke nan muna da alamun lafiya to Allah muke ruko ka ba mu lafiya ka ba mu lafiya mai albarka Allah muna ruko ka kare ba mu lafiya mai albarka rabbana atina fid dunya asana wa fil akhirati asana tu wa qina adhaban nar iyayen mu Allah ka kiyaye suka protect suka ba mu yara mu duka baki da Allah ka shirye da mu da su duka baki da ya wannan suka gabata Allah ka ji kansu mu Allah ka samu cika da imani rabbana atina fid dunya asana wa fil akhirati asana tu wa qina adhaban nar da ba lokacin da dan kwanta kenan program ga zo na kasa kwana dole tashin zo yanzu aka bar sami bai nayi kwana don lasar ke gada kuma gobe na je aiki ni kuma dan kwana bayan lasar she ga kai na na ciwo bai da kyau yanzu aka kun gani cikin aikin kenan dole in samu na har cikin dare na gaba nishatu kun dan kwanta to Allah ne muke ruko abin da muka yi Allah ya sa saboda Allah ne kar ba muna rabbana atina fid dunya asana wa fil akhirati asana tu wakina azaban nar اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد انك حميد مجيد سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين بيسا وميديا ان شاء الله السلام عليكم